Beer, please. Make it two. On me. I'm perfectly capable of buying my own beer, thank you. Good. Glad to hear that. You can get the next round. You are not from around here, are you? What makes you say that? I would recognize such a beautiful pair of eyes. Maybe you were too busy reading your kitty books to notice. This? Oh, this is no kitty book. This is research. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just have to owe you that next round. Hey, 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 I'm being serious. Now, there's some freaky deaky shit going on out there. What kind of shit to make you piss your pants. This book here teaches you how to deal with it. <laughs> okay. You know my, my buddy Cole McGrath? He used to make fun of it, too. The Cole McGrath? One and only. The Demon of Empire City. That's what they call him. <laughs> you know Cole McGrath. Know him? <laughs> He's like a brother to me. A brother from another mother. In fact, it's this here kitty book, as you call it, that helped me save him from eternal damnation. Really? Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Well, uh, you know about Pyronite? Can't say that I do. <laughs> oh, man. I knew you weren't from around here. <laughs> Every pyre night, the folks in New Marais go certifiably apeshit. They put on costumes, build big old bonfires in the streets, and dance around them till sunup. Me and my boy, we were there for the last one. We couldn't even get a beer before folks started howling out for help from beneath the church. Now, some folks might say that Cole McGrath is a bad guy. Ain't nothing farther from the truth. Back then, if folks were suffering, he'd be right there to lend a hand.
getting decorations from beneath the church, and the ceiling started falling in. I think there are more folks trapped down there. Hey, don't worry. I got it under control. It was cold down in them catacombs beneath the city. They were first used for crypts, then the Underground Railroad, and then some bootlegging. <laughs> yeah, they got used for pretty much everything. The thing is, the folks who went down there kept disappearing. Those fingers had got him. They'd opened up a vein in his neck and started dripping blood into some matchstick of a corpse. Cole's a conduit. He's superhuman. And his blood, whew, it did the trick. Man, her bite was like a pit bull with syringes for teeth. The more she drank, the prettier she got. Other vampires started crowding around, chanting her name. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Yeah, Cole's blood had brought her back all right. In return, she gave him a little something on the side. I hear they named a cocktail after me. The Bloody Mary. Oh, God, I hate that name. Worse yet, it's served with breakfast. When was it ever acceptable to drink before five in the afternoon? Oh, well, my dear. I control you now. In fact, come sunrise, all of your free will will be mine. Screw you. Don't try to raise your head against me. I will not allow it. Red Dracula. I know how this works.
know you'll regret that come sunrise. Staking on the vampires won't make you any sense. Get out of my head. Enjoy your last night of freedom, because once the sun rises, you'll be my pet. Maybe I'll dress you up, put you in a nice peacoat like the rest of my boys. Um, you'll look very made it out of the catacombs. He couldn't escape while he had come. He was thirsty and desperate for a drink. Ah, uh, no. Hi, mister. Do you know where the pirates at around here? <laughs> Coal and drunk or dry. Choose to do it. The instinct had taken over. But her blood was now on his hands and in his veins. You're one of us now. Embrace your new life. It's wonderful. Delightful, isn't it? Well, of course, to fuel such powers, you'll need more blood. Rivers of juicy, warm, human blood. Drink them dry. The blood of lovers is a taste to be savored. That's it. Keep your strength up. My children are going to test you tonight, and I want to see what you can do. I've never had a subject with abilities like yours. Oh, you're such a treasure. Hey, man, where you at? You've been off the radar for a while. See, I, uh, I got bitten by a vampire. <laughs> really? Do you look more handsome than normal? Do teenage girls suddenly find you irresistible? Hey, I'm serious, Z. I, I tried fighting back against the vampire who bit me, but she gets inside my head and, and, and takes control. Bloody Mary says that come sunrise, I'll be your slave. Oh, okay. Look, brother, we've been through weirder stuff than this. Now, it can't be a coincidence that they showed up on Pyre Night. There's got to be a connection there. What with all these demon decorations and whatnot. Yeah, okay. That's a start. Hey, maybe I'll run into a few vampire groupies while I'm out there. Hey, that's a spirit.
another Ignatius Demon Slayer. Hey Z, I just saw a banner of Father Ignatius smiting demons. You know anything about that guy? I know he's got a badass mustache. I've seen his statue over by the cathedral. You thinking he had some kind of technique for dealing with the blood guzzlers? Yeah, I'm just hoping it works without having to get ordained. Vow of chastity and all that. <laughs> ah, abstinence. I sure wouldn't know anything about that. Long nights alone, staring at a bikini magazine. <laughs> Yeah, that's boring territory to me. Okay, good talk. Really looking like it was Ignatius the Torch Mary way back when. But I've got to figure out how he got close. You know what? They got the Legend of Pyre Nine show going on by the clock tower. And I'm pretty sure Ignatius is in it. That's kind of like the Nativity at Christmas. Except in this one, it's all about demons and fire. It's for the kids. <laughs>
gentlemen, take a seat. The secrets of Pyre Knight are about to be revealed. Come on and let me take you all back in time, friends. Back to the early days of Numeray. The streets of our town were filled with laughter, and the people were full of hope. Till folks started disappearing from the streets at night. Only one man, Father Ignatius, was brave enough to walk in the shadows, hunting for the devil who would harm his flock. And it was from the shadows that he spotted her, a vile woman, feeding on a man's flesh. And as fast as a thought, she was gone, taking refuge in the crypts beneath the city. That very night, Ignatius rallied his fearful parish to action, leading the way down into the crypts. And as they came upon the nest of sinners, he held aloft his holy barred cross, and the sinners scattered like cockroaches from its holy light. But their leader, Bloody Mary, she wasn't fast enough. Ignatius brought her up before his church and tied her to a pile. And as flames licked at her heels, the devil woman revealed her true form while shouting out a curse, vowing that one day she'd return and take her revenge. And what happened to Ignatius, you ask? Well, he's still with us, my friends. Buried in St. Charles Cemetery, right alongside his barbed cross. And that's why we burn, my friends, to warn Bloody Mary's ghost and all the other sinners of this world to stay clear of Numeray. You can dance, sing, and walk the streets, cause nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna eat you on Pyre Night! <laughs> All right, Z, I need you to look up where Ignatius is buried in St. Charles Cemetery. Turns out, he was in tune with some sort of vampire-killing relic. No problem. All them goths love to make cemetery maps and then put them online. Man, I'd love to get me a goth girl. All that eye makeup, that'd be like kissing a raccoon. Whew. That's hot.